the U.S. government claims these are not detention centers. But photos taken from inside U.S. Border Patrol facilities have stirred an outcry. Thousands of teenagers and younger children crowded into pens and sleeping on floors, held in these conditions for more than five days in violation of a court order requiring they be moved to more child-friendly shelters within 72 hours. Those detention centers are jails. I mean, they are, uh, they are guarded by agents and officers. The U.S. Homeland Security Secretary and a contingent of senators toured a Border Patrol facility holding children Friday. Media were barred from entering, officials said, due to COVID concerns. We are uh, safely uh, processing the children who do come to our border. Uh, we strongly urge, and the message is clear, not to do so now. Under the Trump administration, thousands of migrant children who arrived at the U.S. border had been expelled to Mexico without seeing an immigration judge. President Joe Biden ended the practice, calling it inhumane. Now immigration officials report more than 9,000 unaccompanied children entering the U.S. in February. And since then, it's been an average of 500 more a day. Children. Uh, presenting at our border who are fleeing violence, who are fleeing prosecution, who are fleeing terrible situations is not a crisis. In an effort to expedite moving the minors to better conditions, the Biden administration has deployed FEMA, the government agency that handles disasters, to turn the Dallas Convention Center into an emergency shelter for 2,000 children. Three other temporary shelters are in operation or being planned. There, migrant children wait another 30-some days, but with access to school and recreation, until the government places them with a U.S. sponsor. That process of waiting for sponsorship should be shortened, and uh, we need to put more resources there. But also, while they wait, they should be put in place and in care of nonprofits and faith-based organizations. and but. By no means, Border Patrol is the alternative for these children. The White House says it's sending messages to Central American countries for their youth not to come. That includes 17,000 ads on the radio, social media and television. It's unclear how many children are listening in their home countries. What's obvious is that their numbers at the U.S. border continue to grow. Heidi Jo Castro, Al Jazeera, Washington.